All right, everyone. Well, today is a perfect day to channel your inner art and your love for art. Well, we have an artist that perfectly highlights Hispanic Heritage Month. She's also with Museo de las Americas. It's Alba Velardi. Alba, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And look, I'm already seeing some of the celebrities you've brought, and I grew up with some of these famous people. Let's talk about your craft, okay. what you do, and how you got started. Yeah, so I mainly focus on just portrait work. It's my favorite thing to do, and it all started when I was in middle school. Mm -hmm. My uh, teacher taught us how to do the grid method, which is how to transfer one image to another image without losing like the dynamics of okay. it. Okay. And I did my first portrait, and it was the members of Blink-182, and it came <laughs> out like pretty nice. So then I was hooked instantly and just started creating more and more portraits and I got oh, a little better. Uh -huh. And then people were like, well, hey, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And I was like, hey, I can make like a little money off of this, right? Exactly. So then I just started um, learning more using different material and it just stemmed from there. And I've been doing portraits for around 18 years now. Wow. So it was like an uh, aha moment mm -hmm. when you figured out I'm good at this and I love doing this. Yes. Wonderful. What kind of mediums do you work with? And out of all those, which is your favorite? Yeah, so I use a variety. I use uh, charcoal mm -hmm. for black and white. I use oil paintings, um, a combination of oil and acrylic. Uh huh. I recently started doing digital art, so I use my tablet for that one. Okay. I use um, India ink, watercolor, so a lot of different wow. types. And my favorite by far is the charcoal. Okay. Just the solid black and white. Mm -hmm. um, it's the one that I think I can get the best shading with. Sure. And like the, the very dark, dark black. And there's always something nostalgic and beautiful about black and white portraits. I just love it. I love that you've put um, Vicente Fernandez. He's a very famous singer from Mexico on a skateboard. Yes. That is super <laughs> cool. Okay, there's a personal element here to your work. It's celebrities, it's people you love, and people come to you for, for, for you to be able to paint something of somebody they love. How did that come about? Uh, like I said, I started getting better out of it and then friends started reaching out to me to uh, like commemorate their family members. And sure. they were like, hey, you know, my family passed away. I would love a painting of oh. them. So I started, I was like, yeah, of course. So I started drawing their portrait work. Um, mm -hmm. I also love drawing like people in the Latino community. So I have uh -huh. um, Frida over here, and I have Vicente Fernandez, of course. Yes, on and the then skateboard. I'm working on a <laughs> Chavo del Ocho. Oh my goodness. Watercolor. We grew up with this show. This was such <laughs> a funny show. Okay, can you show us a little bit about how you do this, or how you do this, sorry? Yeah, so this is an India ink, and it's actually the. the medium that I'm the fastest at, which is why I decided to bring it here. Okay. So it kind of use just water to dilute okay. the ink. To get it to like the right consistency? Yeah, the right color. Oh. And then I just go for it. Like I don't really have, with with watercolor and Indian ink, it's so easy. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. But this also takes a level of skill. Like I would make a mess. I would confuse that with my eyelash glue. <laughs> I just would. <laughs> so this is great. And you're able to get different types of shades and color depending on how much you dilute it here. Yeah. So oh, it's this super, is awesome. Super simple. Uh-huh. And then you could add just like shades. And layering is the most important. How did you learn the layering aspect of it? Is it more of a personal liking or is there a, a, a real technique behind it? Um, I think there is a real technique behind it. Um, it's kind of, you have to stop looking at art as like an image and more as like shapes and blocks. Oh. So you're just trying to copy like the shapes that are around it and not focus on the image itself. Got it. Because then it's going to just throw you off. That's good advice. Okay, and let's talk about what uh, the work that you do and how people can find you and connect with you if they want something done. Yeah, of course. I mainly post all my work on Instagram. Okay. And uh, that's probably the best way to reach me. I have not worked on a website yet, but it should be coming it's soon. It's coming. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So my Instagram is the best way to reach me. And I also have a hashtag, which is my name, Alba Valerity Art, one word. Mm -hmm. uh, you can look up that hashtag on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and all my past work will pop up on there. Okay. So that's one way to look her up. And I want to end by asking you, what makes you so passionate about the Hispanic culture? Well, yeah, I mean, I come from Mexican roots. My parents are from Mexico, and it's just the shows I grew up on, mm -hmm. the music I grew up on. Um, I love having being able to represent it, and um, it's just 
a part of who I am and I of love course. being able to show the icons in the past and well it definitely shows in your work oh but thank you so much for being here and of course best of luck and wishing you all the success as you move forward with your talent <laughs> thank you thank you okay and here's how to find Alba everyone you can come see some of Alba's Alba Valerdi's work one way is by going to Museo de las Americas and be sure to connect with her on social media follow her on Instagram and use the hashtag Alba Valerdi art for more art go to museo.org as well